I haven't been able to process uh, winning the Oscar or any of the, the awards, actually. What I'm, uh, of course, I'm thrilled that, that, I, that I have those trophies at home, but I, what I'm most proud of is the fact that it has afforded me the opportunity to meet so many people who um, influenced my life as an artist, as a child, as a, as a reader. Um, you just can't ever stop striving to be the best that you can be. And I think the way to do that is by interacting with people, interfacing. And, and you know, I've met some amazing people just with, with this event. So I, I, it has really, really provided me with many opportunities and I do not take one moment of it for granted. Um, you know, I, I hope that does happen. I hope it happens because it means that I've made some sort of impact, a lasting impact. But I hope it doesn't deter anyone from still dreaming that dream. Because you can't win if you're not in the game. And, uh, and winning doesn't always mean carrying a trophy. Winning, for me, usually means that I don't have to call home and uh, borrow money. <laughs> so um, I, I felt that I'd won you know, a few years ago when I was actually able to make a living. This is so different and it's wonderful. Whenever I go to any other school, uh, campus, I realize just how good I had it being able to be on such a vast, beautiful, sprawling campus. And I made so many friends. We had such an amazing time. And it really does go to show you that the perception that the South is still the way it was is really interesting because when I was at Auburn, it was about 20,000 students and only a thousand of us were African-American. So um, I still had a ball. <laughs> it didn't matter. It doesn't matter. And I don't take my education for granted. I just love going into the big lecture halls and just remember all of that. It, it really, really made me appreciate the opportunities that I've been given. And, and that began really and truly um, with my education. And I, I am thrilled to, to have my degree from Auburn. I had no intentions of not representing the great state of Alabama and my alma mater because uh, it would, uh, I, it's really interesting to me when people try to obfuscate you know, their history. Your history is what makes you unique and your life experiences are what make you unique. My friend Josh Hopkins and I went to the SAG Awards together and he went to Auburn. My friend um, Robin um, uh, Porch, who has this company called Porch Pies, she and her, her brother Sydney and I uh, went to JD and Auburn together, and now I send her pies out as, as gifts. So it is a vast community of people, and it's always a very welcoming community of people, and I'm thrilled to be a member of the, the, that group. Well, I just want to diversify. I've always wanted to be behind the camera, actually, and direct and produce. And so I'm, I'm a writer and I have a children's book that I'm uh, hoping to get published. And, um, you know, I just want to see where the road leads me. I, I, they, I never ever approached anything with a thought of a limitation and thinking now that having won an Oscar or any of the other awards, I don't want to think about it because then it means that I'm going to limit myself. I'm, I'm thrilled about it. But now I'm looking to, to see what can I do next and what can I do to leave the door open for people who want to come uh, and, and, and take that journey. So I, I'm game for whatever's out there. <laughs> <laughs>